Hi everybody and welcome to the first camping video of 2023. So because of the weather, because of the dark nights, kept it really really simple and just stayed local again. I'm just at Hamworth Wood. I've been here many a times and done a lot of different videos on that. One of them I'll flash up here for you now. Um, but yeah, I'll leave the links downstairs for you as well. English Woodsman and Vegan Outdoorsman are joining me as well. But again, because of the weather, when you get set up off camera, see you in a sec. Right, welcome back everyone. So, uh, again, I'm out at Hamworth Wood. Now, I put a little poll up on the community page of the YouTube channel. And this is what you voted for. But yeah, I'm in the Snug Pack uh, Tropical Hammock with the Snug Pack Cocoon. Snug Pack All Weather Shelter G2. I've uh, got some of my gear in the Endurance backpack. Uh, it's too dark to show you, to be honest. I'll show you all that probably tomorrow or later on in the video. Um, but I brought my sleep suit as well, my uh, black and orange sleep suit, keep in there. And then pillow. Um, if you remember, Flextails sent me a pillow. And then I had it stolen back in August. And I was that impressed with that pillow, I've had to go out and buy it again. Uh, just super simple uh, pillow but he's got a lot of features that some pillows are missing to be honest you can see there how it's quite ridged and ribbed for you the like, nape of your neck and things like that so I had to go out and get another one of them because it was super super comfortable I know Vegan Dan's got one of these as well this is a slightly different colour um, and he rates his pillow as well but Again, all the gear that I use, there'll be links in the description box below. But yeah, that's about it really. Uh, nice and simple setup, snug pack cocoon, all weather shelter, sleep suit, and I'm at a comfortable sitting position here. I've got a little rubber ground mat on the floor just for when I keep my boots off, just somewhere to keep them out of this bog. Because uh, the ground here at the moment is just horrendous. Um, if you're planning on coming to Hamworth anytime soon, um, don't come unless you've got a 4x4 four four. Uh, don't, well, don't come down to the, the actual campsite stay up on the top track by the gate at the top and you know obviously walk down with your gear unless you've got a 4x4 four four. even then I'm in the dust at the day and it's it was a bit slippery to be honest uh, skidding out from underneath me the ground is terrible um, but yeah that's about it for now so I'll catch back with you in a minute I just thought I'd bring you back just to have a little chat uh, what we've we all been up to since New Year. Uh, to be honest, I've just been working. Um, Squirrel Scouts are due back on this coming Monday and Cubs will be back last Wednesday. So I've just been chilling really besides work, you know, spending a little bit of time with wife and kids. Kids are back at school now, so what have we all been up to? Uh, but while you're here, do me a favour, go downstairs, hit that big thumbs up button, comment on the video anything ask me questions about the gear let me know what you think about the video and obviously the, the filming at the minute but I've been doing a lot of research uh, recently in how to improve uh, one of the ways is I'm getting a new phone very shortly I'm doing an upgrade so I've been filming on my S10 5G since the uh, Storm Kira video way back when it must have been 2000 pre-covid I think it was pre-covid with the uh, Storm Kira um, and then yeah I've been working on editing I've been buying some more gear just to sort of help me improve that a little bit so if you've not seen already I've got another channel started which is Oscar Outdoors Reviews and I bought the small rig uh, vlogging cage and setup um, and I've also bought another microphone as well It'd probably no good in conditions like this where it's absolutely persisting it down all the time but you know when I, I've got a lot of plans for future videos and doing a lot of hiking and going to Scotland to see my mate up there, uh, Matt of Matt's Mindful Meals so I'll be going up and seeing him so for them sort of videos I reckon all this gear will be coming in quite handy but at the moment with the rain as it is it's, it's not a good idea to bring it all out uh, but yeah that's about it for now um, I've heard Vegan Dan um, in the distance so I'm going to go over and say hello to the boys in a second for now I'll see you in a bit Look who I've bumped into, English Woodsman. <laughs> I'm sure you're all subscribed to English Woodsman, but if you're not, go over, check his channel out and subscribe to him. But tonight it looks like he's in 
uh, a new hot tent from Warm Wind. Very now, nice. Warm Wind, obviously, if you're regular to my channel, you'll see that I've used Warm Wind quite a lot. And uh, this looks really, really solid, actually. The material feels quality. The stitching looks good. The seam ceiling's good, isn't it? Seam ceiling's brilliant. It's not out of line, I know. Yeah. And, uh, but it looks very, very sort of similar and very spacious to the Rock Dormus that I've been using quite recently on the channel. I think they are the same, mate. Yeah. But yeah, this is... Uh, we'll have to do a side-by-side, -side, won't we? Yeah. And have a decent look at them. Yeah, could do, couldn't we? But yeah, this is uh, what he's in tonight. Obviously, you can see his hammock up there, waiting to be deployed. Just leaving it down so we can have a bit more room in here. Got his hot tent. Uh, his stove, even. Is that the... Woods Walker. Woods Walker. Woods yeah. Walker stove. I just bought a new one for Christmas as well. Well, I say I did. I got bought one for Christmas from mother-in-law. Yeah, she bought me a new stove that I've not even unboxed yet. <laughs> so I'll, uh, I'll get that That's unboxed. That's how grateful you are, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to do it on channel, that. I'm doing on channel. Uh, yeah, on the, the review channel again, if you're not already subscribed to that one, go across to that one and check that one out. I've only got one video on there at the minute, but obviously got plans to do a load more. Yeah, that's uh, English Woodsman. What do we reckon to my new chair? This is my uh, Christmas present from the wife, uh, Kilo Skier uh, High Back version 2. And it's super, super comfortable. We actually got the footstools with it as well, but I've not brought that out with me. Um, but really, really simple to set up, less than a minute. Um, and just, you know, armrests, two cup holders, foam pocket. And then like a little neck pillow as well at the back. It's just absolutely awesome. Really, really like it. But I put this on today. This is my paracord bracelet, and I realised it's starting to fray and just get a little bit too loose. So I've been looking uh, to go and get another one. And a guy on Facebook, Rich Perkins, flash his name up on the screen for you. Um, I found him, and he's going to make me one in my traditional colours, the black and orange, rather than just black. So if you haven't. If you're needing some sort of paracord items, I think he's making me a zipper pull as well because there's a little bit of excess. Um, go and check him out. He'll make you any kind of sort of paracord items, uh, compass holders, bracelets, that sort of thing. Go and check him out. Well, we're just coming to sneak up on Vegan Outdoorsman. We heard a little bit of this. So we had to come and see what he were up to. <laughs> and he's in his uh, Pomoly Dome. X404, X, can't remember the name myself. Um, I'll ask him and I'll flash it up on screen. But look at that, that is a beast. Saw a couple of pictures that he put up on his socials um, and it does look a beast. He set it up obviously on camera in the daylight and then come and done it tonight in the dark. So, like a two part video he's got on this one. So, go and check him out. But let's go inside and see what he's up to. So, for tea. <laughs> I've got a little naan bread, some piri piri rice, and some fake kebab meat. Mm. And that's what I'm going to be having. Nice. Mm. Got off the slum it, do you? Mm. Just look at the inside of this tent. I am super impressed. All three of us are in this at the moment, and there's still space. Probably comfortable to sleep in it if you didn't have the inner room in. Yeah, you could sleep free and com I like three comfortable if you didn't have the inner room. Do you reckon? Yeah. Yeah. You think about where Dan is. One, yeah. two, three. Three non snorers there. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah. That's me out. We couldn't do with you snoring. <laughs> that's so, me out. So two of us. <laughs> what if I brought you some earplugs? Three of us. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I'm super impressed with this one. It looks uh, rather good. When it comes to eating, Let's listen to the sizzle on this. Beef, chili burgers, as a starters. Very nice. not perfect, but it don't matter. It don't have to be. I 
help bringing the test good. Oh yes. Smell vision, fairground. It does actually, doesn't it? They're making TV, aren't they? Have you seen it? Mm -hmm. They're making a TV where in the back of it there's like certain chemicals. And when someone's cooking something on TV, it releases and mixes them up. So your TV will smell what they're cooking. So smell vision is on its way. <laughs> I'm being serious as well, you know. Oh, we need to get one of them. What, TV? Yeah. With smell vision, it'd be ace. Yes. <laughs> All the stuff we've cooked over it, yes. So you watch Jim off of the uh, Royal Family where he farts all the time. <laughs> <laughs> he does, doesn't he? Though? Yeah. They're always breaking <laughs> Right, I don't know where you can see that. Look at that. They're not burnt, they're cooked to perfection. Right, well, as you've just seen there, we've now got a chilli burger each. So Dan's not cooked them both for himself for a change. He's made me one as well, <laughs> just to put me on. Uh, so a double chilli burger, some red onions and a little bit of chilli sauce. He's just been on about a smell of vision as well. You probably heard that uh, just a couple of seconds ago. What do you reckon of that? As he said, it'll be good for stuff like this. Jim Royal, Royal Family, not so good. <laughs> but... I'm intrigued by that, I really am. The amount of people I've seen cook some fantastic meals on YouTube, Matt at Matt's Mindful Meals for example, you know, Dan, English Woodsman, even vegan Dan, you know, it, the, the stuff we can come up with while we're outdoors is just phenomenal and it's just having that little bit of patience and that little bit of time, a little bit of prep work uh, going into your cooking while you're out camping. But let's uh, taste test this. Yeah, but if you knew your followers could smell what you're cooking, you'd improve your cooking, wouldn't you? Mm. do you think? You'd try, wouldn't you? Yeah, you'd be like... That is, that is nice. Where'd you get these from? Farm shop. Robert Shaw's? Yeah. I won't say Killingham then, but it's changed. I like Robert Shaw's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're really nice then. There you go. Pick up the snide. <laughs> chili has got you. <laughs> mm. Right, enjoy this, have some more chats.
There's a little piece of like a fucking evergreen, like a fir tree. Yeah, so it's Put it in your hot water. Mix tea, doesn't it? Yeah. Mix it. Well, good morning. Oh, what a night that was. <laughs> oh, it's literally rained from about 6 pm last night and like continued. But obviously, we were in the hot tent, so we didn't really notice it. Um, we could hear little bits, but not a great deal. And then all night long, it's just rained and rained and rained and rained and rained and rained. And guess what? It rained too. So yeah, but I've had a, a lovely, comfortable night's sleep in this cocoon. This pillow makes a difference. Can you see it? Well, yeah, lovely and warm. Sleep suit on. It's, you've probably just seen the, the ground is swamped. I'm going to have fun getting this car out, even though it is a 4 before. So I'd planned on doing a lot of filming this morning. Um, making breakfast. Um, and then doing a, another video for the, the review channel. But it is just miserable. I know I asked you what you wanted me to suffer in, but... Even I'm not going to suffer in this. Oh. Right. I'll bring you back when I'm getting up. Well, as promised, this is English Woodsman's setup. But just look how boggy we are. And then a miserable vegan. <laughs> really wet. I forget why we do this. No, I don't really. Yeah. But look at this, this is super impressive. This time you've got to get home and clean it. Well, yeah. <laughs> Believe it or not, this is not a waterfall.
Yes, yeah, so as you've just seen there, nature is phenomenal, isn't it? So that is not a waterfall normally, that is just a little bit of a valley running down and obviously all the build up of the rain has sort of run through and caused this. So yeah, nature is awesome. So as you can see, we've had a lot of rain, the ground is miserable. I'm not miserable, I'm alright, but the weather's miserable, everything else is miserable apart from me. But I'm going to have to get packed up and get myself off. I'm off to donate blood soon, so I'll uh, see you soon. Well, two Dan's have set off walking up the hill now. Did offer him a lift up. But if you've enjoyed this video, watching me get soaked, I know it's not been uh, great footage for the rain, but obviously there's always next time. Uh, Slip tight in the cocoon, kept nice and dry. Tarp in uh, diamond formation, just enough coverage. You know, no running water, I had a couple of drip lines on either end. So absolutely perfect night. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to comment, let me know what you thought. If you're not already, subscribe to the channel by pressing this in the middle. And don't forget about my other channel. I'll see you guys in the next one.